Can I be honest with you guys? I am super excited and scared to death. Are your knees shaking? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful to look at and it sounds great. Listen. Yeah, this thing is sweet. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family, where our goal is to have fun in the RC hobby and bring you guys along with us. Hopefully we help you pick out the perfect RC for you along the way. Today, we're gonna take a look at this beautiful E-Flight F-15 Eagle. This might be fun or this might be just tragic. Uh, Knock well, on wood. Be, just kidding, just kidding. It's gonna be a good video either way. I know that, so <laughs> enjoy your time while you're here. Uh, this came mostly put together. I had to use a bit of glue and just a little time to put a few things together to make it easier on shipping for them. This is my first real EDF jet. We did just fly the A-10 by UMX not long ago, but I don't think that really counts in comparison to something like this. Uh, th though the price on this isn't too bad. This is supposed to be a beginner friendly jet and that's because it has AS3X auto flight stabilization on board. I'm very happy about that because that's gonna help smoothen out any nasty wind bumps and things that I get. And uh, it should be powerful, but it's also beginner friendly on the price tag. It comes in under $200. You just need to pick up your own battery, have your own transmitter, but that's part of this hobby. You know, one, once you get into airplanes, pretty early on you should pick up a universal transmitter. And today I'll be flying on the Spectrum. DX60. Thanks. <laughs> Um, that's why I'm, that's what I'm here for, Nate. It's okay. Are we using that? <laughs> okay, you're right. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, I, I, you know what? I could sit here and talk about this forever. I will say the build was nice and easy. It was just pleasant to sit and work on it. I really had a great time uh, putting it together and just admiring it. I mean, this, this has got things to look at all over it. They've thought of quite a bit of things to... It was very easy to put together. Just some glue, as I said. Um, but the longer I talk, the more I stall. I just need to put this in the air. This is one of those moments in RC where I'm like, I'm afraid to go over the hump. I don't want to, but I also really want to. So let's just keep stalling. Okay, let's go fly it. <gasps> oh, he's excited for you. <laughs> well, I'm nervous for you. Oh, it looks good though, doesn't it? Did we take a picture of this before we're taking off? No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I have we'll just... shots of you holding it, though. That'll video. have to work. Um, <laughs> you know, all summer long, I've been looking at jets. Stall, stall, Yeah, OK, stall. let's do it. <laughs> <sighs> I hope this can take off from the grass. I, I think it can. Oh my gosh, we're in the air. We're in the air. Oh my goodness. Wow. OK, OK, all right. It's in the air. I'm alive. You did get 911 on speed dial, right? I'm working on it. Oh boy. Okay, let's get a little closer. I think we're gonna need 911 for you, not the plane. No, that's what I meant. That's, oh, okay. that's exactly what I meant. Here we go. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, this is fun. What do you think? This is awesome. All right. Now, one thing that I realize is I have my auto flight stabilization completely on full. It's not letting me roll over. I can't roll over past like that's so good, vertical. Though. And for me, this first flight, I think that's okay, but I'm hoping I brought my bind plug because I'd like to actually turn off the flight stabilization for my next flight already. Because I want to do more with it already. I want to be able to roll it over and stuff, but that's as far as it'll let me roll over. So I think for a beginner pilot, this is actually kind of amazing. I didn't realize- Beginner jet pilot. Uh, yeah, I don't think this, <laughs> this probably shouldn't be someone's first plane, but I, I'll be honest, it's pretty easy to fly. I mean, with this flight mode on, I really don't have to do anything. Like that's just a little bit of elevator right there. And look how beautiful that was. Does it feel, <laughs> any, does it feel any different than a regular plane? No, not at all. And I thought it would, but I think when I turn off the stabilization, it will. So let's okay. do a fast flyby because this is a jet, right? Yes. And it's flying on 4S power. So here we go. Yeah, this is awesome. I love oh my the gosh. Sound. Me too. I thought that I would hate the sound. Like it would sound like it was screaming and not be pleasant to hear, you know, but this actually sounds really good. Okay, fast flyby. There's full throttle. How fast do you think that is? I don't know. Um, you know, we're probably not breaking 100 miles an hour sending no, speed no, no, no. but 
That's but awesome. it looks fast because it's a jet and wow it's easier to fly than i thought but yeah i do want to be doing rolls and stuff right now this entire flight though i'm not going to do any rolls uh maybe my next jet video that i do because hint hint wink wink i do have plans for another jet uh assuming this went well and it's it's going well so far um I think I'll just turn off the flight stabilization altogether and let you know what I think about the difference and how it flies. Because you know me, I like to fly a little bit more flashy, I like to loop and roll and stuff. If I'm just flying circles, for me that's not quite enough, although this is beautiful to look at and it sounds great. Listen. Yeah! This thing is sweet! What's up Terry? What do you think of the jet? Yeah! Oh, it looks so good! <laughs> Here we go. And what's our time at, Abby, roughly? Three and a half. Okay, so I actually wanted to land around three to three and a half minutes. Well, you t it's probably more like 2.45 okay, with because you talking. I don't have a LiPo alarm in here because it was kind of tight on that space. Okay. I think that if you guys like this jet, which it's awesome and you should like this jet, uh, I'm already thinking of a few of my friends like Dan, you need to get one of these. David Chinzoff could probably handle one. Get a bunch of jets in the air. Yeah, so friends. we're going to step up from the P-51s that we fly <laughs> and start flying these. I'll, uh, I'll do my best to link this battery that I'm using because it fits perfectly. And I will give you after this next flight that I do with this on this video, I'll give you a battery update to let you know what the voltage came in at. On it's one of those smart batteries, it right? Smart with the IC3 yeah. connectors. Yes. We did a video on the charger a land. few months ago. I'm gonna land from left to right. I'm gonna step away so I can see this a okay. little better. Oh, as long as the landing goes well, he is going to be a very happy person. <laughs> I was very nervous about him doing this because I just didn't want it to put him in a bad mood, but so far so good. Come on. Woohoo! <laughs> you did it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Now it's on. Mike on. Mike is on. Okay, so this funny. <laughs> Bobby forgot to turn the mic on. Good news and bad news. Uh, good news, she's awake and having fun with us. Uh, bad news, Abby forgot to turn the mic on on a flight that you did not see. Uh, so I did turn the flight stabilization off and had a very successful flight. I'm trying to decide if I should, uh, but Abby didn't have the mic on, which is fine. It's, I'm just giving her a hard time. <laughs> it's a lot to remember. Uh, but it was very successful and very fun. And I'm trying to decide if I should include that in the end of this video. Yes. And just let it be optional. We'll just turn some music on, yep. like some Top Gun music. Okay, right? I'll look for some. Yeah. And uh, that should be fun. Away yeah. To the danger zone. <laughs> well, let's stop doing that. <laughs> That was amazing. What a way to end plane week on the RC Sailors. Now, I don't really want to end on that note. So what I'm going to do is charge two more batteries because I've got a couple for this. And I think we should come back up here and fly two full flights for you guys um, in the just, you know, with the AS3X extreme limitations turned off and the mic turned on. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see that or not, because I'd, I'd love to have another excuse to come fly this. Say yay! Say yay, mommy! Yeah. <laughs> Amelia is 11 months old now, and like I said at the beginning almost. of this video, almost. And and pretty much all of our RC videos. This is our RC family. That's what this is about. We just like to enjoy the hobby and share it with you guys. And I hope sincerely that you just have fun while you're here. And and the bonus side along with that is maybe you find an RC that's perfect for you. I can confidently tell you that this jet is amazingly easy to fly and I was nervous for no reason. If you can fly any fairly basic four channel airplane, you can fly this. I give this F-15 Eagle two giant thumbs up and I've got more planes planned for the channel. So just because our unofficial official plane week is over doesn't mean we won't have more planes on the channel really soon. Yeah, she likes that. <laughs> That's a good way to wrap up plane week, right Amelia? Yeah. Yay for plane week. I did something new, F-15 Eagle, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Guys, we'll have all the good stuff linked in the description box below from the transmitter that I used, which was very easy to bind up, the jet itself, and the battery that we used. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.